Good evening, this is my vlog over lecture from yesterday on Tuesday the 9th. My name is Caitlin Green, and this will be a collection of my thoughts and just my overall, I guess, perception of lecture on Tuesday. So on Tuesday we talked about how the rest of the semester was going to be panning out, and honestly I was kind of shocked just how, um, little we had left of the semester. It feels like this semester is just flown by and um, honestly, I mean, it's like my first semester being in person, online, you know, since COVID and, you know, it's pretty much already over. It's crazy how much longer it goes on online rather than it does in person, at least it feels like it. We also started discussing chapter 10, which is going to be the last chapter that we go over in class. So, again, feels crazy because it feels like I was just doing chapter 3 yesterday. But I have slept a couple of times since chapter 3, so I guess, I mean, it has been a hot minute. But um, we started going over what ANOVA and stuff was, and that was what you describe of the analysis of the variance. And overall, um, we did the um, within the means, and so I thought that that was um, pretty easy to understand. I mean, we did have a very straightforward example where there was absolutely no um, variance in any of the different means, but um, all going through the steps still seemed pretty easy, and um, honestly, I mean. I think in comparison to chapter 8, it seems definitely much easier. Chapter 8 was a bit difficult for me to comprehend. Chapter 9 was much easier, and I'm thinking that this will hopefully be easier than comparison to how chapter 8 was. I enjoyed doing the source tables for um, the different information we had to have, like some of the squares, the degrees of freedom, um, the MS and the F, and um, honestly, I'm probably a nerd for saying that I enjoyed it. I just enjoyed how nicely, I guess, that I organized it. Um, I'll show you a little snippet because it looks, it looks really nice, but I also enjoyed it because it was pretty straightforward and easy to understand doing it in that kind of table-like format. And then we also did like the um, hypothesis testing over that one example that we we're going over, and um, we failed to reject AHO on that one, so you know nothing was happening. Which I mean, from the eye, it was very easy to see, of course, that nothing was happening, just because, of course, everything was the same. But it won't always be that easy in data. I wish it was, but you know, each human is different, and so it'd be very unlikely that if we were testing antidepressant medication that, you know, it would go over that swimmingly. But, um, yeah, that was some overall thoughts you answered. I believe one of my questions, maybe both. Um, and I hope that you're looking forward to Thanksgiving break as much as I am at this point. Had two exams this week and it feels like Every week, there's just a little bit more, and then poof, it's over. So Thanksgiving break will definitely be a nice reprieve. Um, don't tell anybody, but I will be starting a paper during Thanksgiving break. But, I mean, better late than never, right? But this has been my vlog over the lecture we had on Tuesday. And I guess a bit of rambling, but, you know, that kind of is how my thought process works. But, um... I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you have a good rest of your evening, week, and weekend, whenever you watch this. Thanks.